Hello brothers and sisters, this is Krishna Ekar and this is my 10 years old PC. It's outdated, slow and it can barely handle windows anymore. But what if I told you that we can bring it back to life with this free operating system. Today we are ditching Windows 10 and giving this ancient machine a new life with Ubuntu. Let's see if Linux can turn this potato PC into a beast. I'm not here to force you to subscribe, but if you enjoy my videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. God will bless you. Don't laugh, but you literally laugh at this system specification. So it has got Intel Celeron dual core processor, 8 GB DDR3 RAM and 128 GB SSD. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Your computer should be having dual core processor, 4 GB RAM and 25 to 30 gigs of free storage in order to install Ubuntu. So it is very less resource hungry. You don't have to worry about any performance issues. Everything will be smooth as as butter. So in order to install Ubuntu, you need to get into their website. You need to just uh, hit that download button. File size is around 5 GB. You need to download it. Burn the file to your USB flash drive. So just do a Google search. You will get to know everything about it. So before installing the Ubuntu operating system, just follow the on-screen instruction. You'll get to know everything. So if you know English, then you can definitely install it guys without any problems. And while installing the Ubuntu operating system, you'll get an option whether to install dual operating system. So what it does is it will install Ubuntu simultaneously with Windows. So your computer will be handling two operating systems. Okay, so now this is the first experience of Ubuntu. Guys, it looks similar to Mac OS. So if you have seen Mac OS, then you know how it feels. So if you see, this was a dock before and it was not that good. I toggled some options and now it looks exactly like Mac OS guys. Like you can see the dock, it is floating guys. So if you have ever used Mac, then you know what I'm saying. Whenever you're not using the dock, it will automatically hide. And if whenever you want to open some programs, you just hover the mouse near to it. So uh, this dock will automatically pop up. If you open the file explorer, settings and other stuff, it is all similar to Mac OS and Android. So I'm using Ubuntu from the past five months. And I can say I'm fully adjusted to Ubuntu. So all the control panel is basically on the top right corner. You get all the controls to turn on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and energy options, night light, dark style and other important stuff guys. So it's on the top right corner. So Ubuntu is completely free of cost guys. Like you don't have to pay anything. This Ubuntu is free for lifetime guys. So Ubuntu is built on Linux. So I know you guys will be knowing that. So Ubuntu is very secure. It will be very difficult for the attacker or hacker to get into your operating system. Windows is not that secure in terms of security. So if you're doing any financial transaction, banking stuff, or if you're keeping a lot of personal files on your Windows 10 machines, then I think you need to switch guys because you get another one year of uh, windows 10 support and after that microsoft is officially ending the support of windows 10 okay so now this pc is in idle stage and look at the cpu and memory usage of these two operating systems so ubuntu is taking very less system resources when the pc is in idle state but in windows some or the other services is running in the background and that is taking lot of system resources which is ideally making the pc slower okay so now let's talk about performance and multitasking so on screen, we have got a comparison of Windows 10 loading time and Ubuntu's loading time. So Ubuntu boots up much faster guys. So Windows takes a lot of time to boot. Ubuntu boots up in a couple of seconds guys. So we open multiple programs in Ubuntu, like many programs and guess what? The PC handled it very well guys. Look at it. I'm able to switch between the programs and it is switching smoothly guys. There's no problem at all. So that means you can do multitasking easily. So you can easily open five to 10 tabs in browser and you can easily do multitasking in browser. So you can switch between tabs rapidly and it won't affect the performance guys. So it was loading all the sites faster and uh, I was able to smoothly scroll the website. So what do you want from an old PC doing all these things? Some of you guys will be asking about the driver updates in Ubuntu. So don't worry guys, Ubuntu automatically installs all the necessary drivers in your PC. Okay, so now talking about Windows app support. Just like Microsoft Store in Windows, Ubuntu has got its own store called as App Store. 
No, 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 this is not the same app store in iPhone. It is completely different. So in the Ubuntu's app store, you get many Windows programs in it, guys. So here are some of the popular Windows softwares that is available on Ubuntu. So you should definitely install Ubuntu if you are primarily using web-based application. So if you are using your browser to do all your work, like reading your emails, replying to them, or listening to songs, watching YouTube videos, doing some random things, then you should definitely switch to Ubuntu operating system. It will perform much faster and better. Okay, that's all about Ubuntu. But if you have got very old hardware, like older than this PC, then you should definitely install Zorin OS. I made a video on that, you can check it out here. It was quite fun guys. If this video helps you, then you can just uh, subscribe and you can also hit that like button. So, yo, yo. Microphone check, make it a microphone check. Give it a microphone, I make them make it a microphone dead. Don't step to